No! Yeah, that's how I found out the other day that the test is canceled. The SE test that I was studying for that I was putting hours and hours and hours of each day and a lot more on the weekends uh, was pretty much canceled. I felt like I was going 100 miles per hour and then all of a sudden it stopped. Hi, I'm Matt Picardle and I'm a professionally licensed civil engineer in the Southern California area and I'm practice structural engineering on buildings. On this channel, I make structural engineering career related videos and I was studying for the SE exam until I figured out that NCES has pretty much canceled all of their upcoming April exams due to the COVID-19 virus. Honestly, I wasn't too surprised, but I was just hoping that it wasn't gonna be that, that way, especially since, you know, I saw a lot of events being canceled, the Structures Congress, the ASCE, SEI Structures Congress that I was planning to go to that got canceled. So um, I wasn't surprised, but I was just kind of sad and a little bit frustrated too that it kind of just felt like I wasted my time, but I know in the end it, it wasn't, I was studying, but it is the career path that I'm studying for. So if anything, all that studying has made me a better engineer and I'm gonna be a better engineer because of all that extra studying. And I'm still gonna study. I'm just gonna take the test now in, in October. So I'll be taking the whole test, the whole 16 hour test on a Friday and Saturday. Uh, so just gonna be putting in more study time, but more spread out now that that thing's got delayed. Um, you know, I got my flow going, so I'm still going to keep studying, but instead of four hours a night, maybe cut it down to one or two. But now I think that was the hardest part, getting a consistent study schedule. So that's something I don't want to break. And yeah, it's frustrating, but I get it. I mean, I, com I commend them and all these other organizations that are trying to do their best to uh, protect the health of the public. I'm definitely not a health expert, so I can't tell you about all that stuff, but you know, it may or may not be as bad as the media thinks, but you know, I think in the end, it could be really bad and it may not maybe blown out of proportion and people are panicking, but at least we're doing something to be prepared. And you know, for the younger generation, hey, we may be fine. We may be just fine if we ever get it, um, but it's not about us. I mean, it's about what if we spread it to people that aren't going to be fine if they get it. And also not overloading all the hospitals because if, if it is a contagious disease, so doing what we can as a society to kind of just slow down the spread of that so a lot of us and a lot of the institutions can better prepare, I think, hey, I get it. That's, I think that's the right thing to do because it could be a lot worse. And, you know, I just think it's better for all of us to suffer a little right now than for a few of us to suffer a lot. And as a natural introvert, the things that they want us to do to help slow down the virus, I'm pretty much okay with. What, they want us to stay home, not go out to any events, not go to any places where there's a lot of people? I got this. So this is definitely the time to let your inner introvert just let loose. So stay healthy, stay calm, carry on, and I'll see you next time.